Steve and I just picked a whole lot of tomatoes out in the garden and it's time to make pizza sauce. The first thing we're gonna need to do is get these washed. So let me go get them washed, get ready so that we can start cutting these up so that we can make our sauce. So all I'm doing is cutting the tops off these, scooping out the center, and that's all gonna go to the chickens. Once I have the seeds all out, I'm just gonna cut these in half again and put them into the food processor. And I'll be back when the food processor's ready for us to go to the next step. So I cut up enough tomatoes so that I could have 10 cups. Again, I just used Roma and San Marzano tomatoes. You can do a mix if you prefer. I like those because they're the easiest to core and seed. So now I'm gonna take this, we're gonna take our 10 cups and we're gonna get this poured into our pot on the stove. Now that I have my 10 cups of pureed tomatoes into my pot, I am going to put this up onto a medium heat. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. I'm gonna let it, once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna keep it at a low boil and I'm gonna cook these for about 10 minutes. Now, while I have that going, I'm gonna go get my seasonings ready to go into my pizza sauce. While the tomatoes are coming to a boil on the stove, we're gonna get our seasonings for our pizza sauce together. So we're gonna be using oregano, basil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. So we're gonna be using one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of basil. I was a little short on that, so let's add a little bit more. We're gonna be doing four teaspoons of garlic powder. And if you um, have never seen our videos where we make our own spices and seasonings, remember to check those out in our playlist. We're gonna use two teaspoons of onion powder. And Steve just made this the other day. We're gonna use two teaspoons of salt. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of pepper. All right, I'm just gonna stir this together. And then this is gonna be all ready to go into our pizza sauce when the tomatoes are ready. Now that this has boiled and we've hit our 10 minute point, I've got my seasonings ready and we're gonna put those in. So I'm gonna turn my temperature down to low and we're going to just pour those seasonings we just measured out in. We're gonna make sure we stir these in thoroughly so that they're thoroughly mixed. And then I'm just going to leave this on low. I'm gonna leave the cover off and I'm gonna have this simmer. For me, probably about an hour seems to be what works to get it to the thickness that I want. Now, it may be a little less or it may be a little more, depending on how watery the tomatoes you use for this are. Because I used primarily Roma and San Marzano and I cored and seeded them, it uh, is more meaty and less juicy than if I left any seeds and um, the gel from on the inside of the tomatoes in. So let's, now that we've got this stirred in, we're gonna let this simmer for about an hour and then we'll come back and see how it looks. So I finished up that batch of our pizza sauce and I got about seven, seven and a half cups out of that batch. Now you can freeze this, you can use it fresh, you can can it, um, I'm in the middle of making a second batch to go along with this, so I'm going to get this back in a pot on the stove to keep it hot, and I'll be back with you as soon as I get that second batch done so that I can move mine on to its next step. Since I am going to be canning my pizza sauce, I did add a quarter of a cup of vinegar to my batch just to make sure that um, I have high enough acidity, even though tomatoes are a high acid 
Um, I'm treating this kind of like I would if I was canning salsa. So let me get this in the jars. We'll see how much we end up with. I ended up making three batches, but I put half a batch in the fridge for pizza that we're gonna be making this week. So I'll get my jars filled and I'll be back with you. With all the tomatoes we had, we ended up making three batches of our pizza sauce. Now I took half of one of those batches and put it in the fridge for pizzas that we're gonna be making over the next week or so. And the rest I canned. Um, as I mentioned, I did add a half a cup of vinegar to my batches because I was planning on water bath canning these. And I ended up with 18 half pints or 18 cups that is going to go onto our pantry shelf. So these finished up last night. I let them sit and cool overnight. All the jars sealed. I have to date, label, remove the rings and get them into our pantry on the shelves. But that'll finish up um, almost all of what we're gonna make. I think I'm gonna make one more batch so that I'll have two dozen on the shelf to go until next summer. And um, if you have a favorite pizza sauce that you like to make, please make sure you leave us a comment. And remember to like, subscribe. It really does help us out a lot. And until next time, everybody, see you later.